second ball, but the second one is held there by the third ball. And all that momentum, the momentum then transfers into the third ball, but it's held there by the fourth ball. Oh. The fourth ball doesn't have anything holding it in, so the momentum that gets transferred into the fourth ball sets it out. So if there was one of those things that was so really, 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 really big, and it was like a million of them, it would still be the first one and the last one. That would be so cool. We're now, if you pull back two at once, it'll send out the last two. Because there's enough momentum to send both of those okay. two. Okay. Yeah, I saw the build one. What if you do three? Yeah, what if you do three on the build one? Like a little small. Oh. What if you do three on the floor? Would that make the last one go a little faster? So momentum is how difficult it is to stop an object. So we're talking. It's in other words, it's moving inertia. It wants to keep moving. If something has momentum, it wants to keep moving. The more momentum it has, the more it wants to keep moving. And the formula for momentum is the object's mass times its velocity. So if I have my soccer ball and our heavy medicine ball, and they move at the same velocity, which would be harder to stop? The medicine ball. Yeah, the medicine ball, because it has more momentum, it's got more inertia. If they're moving at the same velocity, the medicine ball has more mass, so it'll have more momentum, which means it's harder to stop. Very well from Newton's third law and second law. How does the motion stay in motion? And the more mass required, the more mass an object has, the more force required to slow it down or change its speed. So it's going to take more force to slow it down to stop it, the more mass it has. Now, if they were, you know, if the mass of the medicine ball is twice the mass of the soccer ball, but the soccer ball is going twice as fast, it would take the same amount of force to slow them down because their momentum would then be the same. Because the difference in mass is covered by the difference in velocity. So the formula for momentum is mass times velocity. So the momentum of a 50 kilogram barrel rolling at 10 meters per second, our equation would be mass times velocity. into the equation, we have momentum equals 50 kilograms <coughs> times 10 meters per second. And our momentum would equal 500 kilograms meter per second. times meters per second. Yeah, but what does it mean by kilograms per second? That's how much weight you gain? Each so that's how much momentum you have. You have 500 kilograms. Isn't that like, 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 add, not. Isn't that like how much force it would take to stop the object? Not how much force, because remember force is kilograms per meters, or kilograms meters per second squared. Okay, so that's like so the momentum is an old thing. It's going to take force to slow it down over a period of time. So momentum is that top half of the force before the time it takes to slow it down. So if you did momentum divided by time, you get your force. Uh, which would hurt more and why? Take a minute, read it, think of it. So a 200 kilogram linebacker running at two meters per second or a hundred kilo I said think about it. Hundred yeah, kilogram yeah, safety yeah, yeah. running at four meters per second. Probably the line So think about it for a second. Uh, it's safety. Yeah, Gabe? It's equal. Sorry, guys, Gabe. It's equal if they have the same momentum. Why do they have the same same momentum? Yeah, 
Do, does it matter where they test it from? No, I'm just saying you break the bone more easier if on that. They're the same. They're more the easier. same momentum. <laughs> Could rolling a uh, marble and rolling a bowling ball ever have the same momentum? No. Think about it for a second. Let me raise your hand if you have an answer. Yeah. Think about it yeah. and raise your hand. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Because of you. Yeah. Uh, Luke, since you thought about it and then raised your hand. So, um, a marble could, like, have, like, say marbles one and a bowling ball's ten. Uh-huh. So a marble would have to go ten out or... Not meters per second, but the bowling ball would have to go one meter per second, so they could be going equal. Okay, so the the marble would have to be going equally amount as yeah. fast as the bowling ball is large compared to it. Yeah. Yeah. So if both marble, very good loop. If the marble is rolling really fast, so Luke said if the bowling ball has ten times the mass, the marble have to be moving ten times the velocity. Because 1 times 10 is 10, 10 times 1 is 10, they have the same momentum. Would you really be able to uh, achieve that, do you think? Mm -hmm. Would that be possible to achieve that in real life? To get exact? Like if you were bowling, if you were bowling in the bowling alley, would you be able to bowl with a marble? Why would you be able to You can't roll it at the top. Is it physically possible? I'd say it's not possible. It'd have to be moving really, really fast. Scientifically, it's possible. Scientifically, not really. What if you need to see it? I've seen a marble with stitch. What if you were using a carbon Like to propel it? Like if you like shot out like about like a cannon? Yeah, that would be going fast enough. Uh, but I meant just bowling with a barbell. So if you guys, who here has been bowling? Okay. Uh, who's here come, goes with like an older sibling or a parent who bowls with them? Do you still by yourself? Um, do you guys have the same um, weight bowling balls or do you use different ones? Yes. So like if the person who bowls with a heavier bowling ball, do they bowl faster or slower than you typically? Still faster? Okay, if you bowled with that heavier bowling ball and you had a really light one, why would they knock down the same amount of pins, even though you bowl the heavier one slower? Because um, you probably could do the lighter one faster, and it might go as yeah. fast as the heavier one weighs, so that way it would, knock it down. It would have the same momentum. Yeah, so you could potentially um, bowl a lighter bowling ball a lot faster than the heavier one, but because of the heavier one is more massive, even though it's going slower, the momentum of the two is the same, and they'll still end up knocking down about the same number of pins if you hit on the same point. <laughs> so, so sumo wrestlers are going. all about momentum. That kid's going down. No, the kid's going to win. No, the kid's going to get out of the way. In, in order for the kid to even come close to winning, the kid would have to be going really, really fast. What if you just like get the dodge? So sumo wrestlers build up a lot of body mass so that they can use the momentum to their head and they run into each other. And whoever usually has the most momentum will win. Uh, kids wearing diapers. It's why you wear seat belts. Because when you have a slave on the like puppy. Yeah, the seat belts, you have your momentum. And it's kind of like Newton's first law. Your momentum is the moving inertia, not just the, the in, uh, standing inertia. So you're moving. The seatbelt keeps you from keeping on moving. If you didn't have the seatbelt, you'd keep going because you have all that momentum. Anybody play sports? Ever? Anybody watch sports? Caden, you play sports. You play lacrosse. I saw you. Do you play sports? And then, and then you didn't raise your hand. Everybody watches sports? Okay. Well, one of the sports I play... Well, the sport I play now. I love rugby. I love rugby. I love rugby. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do like those chants before the game? Uh, yeah, we used to do a holler. I'm so confused by rugby. rugby. I, don't really I was watching like, rugby. rugby. I know. Yeah. 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 All right. So, guys. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No. 
Um, so, momentum. The more mass and or velocity someone has, the more momentum they have. So, if you think of collisions, when you run into something, if you're bigger, what typically happens? Yeah, you knock them over. They go, you know, they go in the same direction that you're going. If you're lighter, like Cade, Caden, um, or Cabe, Cade, um, on Thursday, Cade kind of tried to run into a bigger guy. Because <laughs> their defense was about, like, three times bigger than me. They're, like, Mr. Arcuri size. And they're, like, <laughs> seventh graders. They were huge. And Cade tried to run into one of them, and did he do anything? <laughs> no. no. Um, he wasn't running fast enough, and he has such low mass to to these guys that they, he kind of just bounced off. <laughs> so I want you guys to watch this. And. Watch your video, Yeah. It's all and So watch this. Um, these are just clips from different tackle situations. And think about the momentum of both people during the collision. I'll tell you, I'll tell you later. Watch this one. So I play that position. I I don't play right now. Now those are some of the biggest hits. Doesn't happen to every like hit and every play. I will tell you that. Um, but what did you notice? The one I said, watch this. The guy you hit him at the very beginning. Did you see that one? All right. Try and cue it up again for you guys. Okay. Watch this. Okay. So th what, this white. Okay, so why he started here? Why did he end up over here? Well, who had all of the momentum? This guy. Well, they both had momentum, right? He was running that way, so he had momentum in that direction. This guy had momentum in what direction? This way. This way, okay. So now, who had more momentum in their their particular direction? The white, the white guy. The, the guy, the white guy. But since he had momentum this way, would they have just gone straight to the left? No. No. What would have happened? Like his inertia want, would have wanted to keep going. What, yeah, they would have gone diagonally. So you can kind of—it's a weird angle, so you can't see it too well. But if you watch, and you can see who had more momentum—that he had a lot of momentum coming across. So, because of those momentums added up, they went into the combination of the two, so they went off at an angle. Now, if the white, he didn't really go off that much of an angle, if you notice, because of what reason? Anybody know? There's more momentum. Yeah, who had the most momentum? The white guy. And the white guy, so he's gonna send it a lot more, so it'd be a steeper angle than just 50-50. If they had the same momentum and they were at 90 degrees, they would have made a nice little Y shape. So they each would have come in and then wide out, made a nice straight line. 
um, car accidents. So if you've um, seen car accidents back in the, um, when they first made cars, they made them solid steel frames. And they stopped doing that. They don't make cars with solid steel frames anymore. Anybody know why? Oh, because cars are shaped. What? Because, wait, actually, you don't have to mind. No. Right. Why do they make car, um, so new cars that have a lot of plastic and like different pieces in them? So like car crashes, like, like add glue? Yeah, so when it was a solid frame, all that momentum was just stopping. That whole, you had to stop that entire mass of the car. But that takes a lot of force. And when you're in the car, you feel all of that force. So now with new cars, they have crumble zones, they have airbags, um, the crumble zones that front of the car that kind of get smashed up. So even if you like lightly tap a, a curb or something, you got a little dent in the you know, the front of the car. It's really annoying if you only tap it lightly, but if you hit something head on, or even on the side at a high enough speed, 30 miles an hour, it crumbles up and absorbs a lot of that force in the front of the car, so you as a passenger, as a driver, you don't really feel it. Um, the old cars would like smash and crumple up completely, and most people at higher speeds wouldn't survive. They've done a lot of research and testing on it. Newer cars, the front whole front crumples up, but pretty much from the dashboard on, you're fine. Uh, the most they found, you might have like a foot injury, if it gets like your foot gets jammed or something. Um, but nothing really more than a foot injury. <coughs> so they made cars a lot safer because of the understanding of physics and momentum. Yeah, I like it. That's um, I Are play you good at it? I'm okay. Are you good at it? Do you wear a helmet? No. Do you like to tackle people? Oh, Have you ever made a big hit? That's the point of playing rugby. Like it. You don't have to play rugby hoping that you like come out. I remember okay. that. Why did you brush it off? You're hoping to lose. You're hoping to lose. All right, guys. So I have a cup of water. I didn't really see my cup of water. I just filled it up. And so you can see, if you believe me, I'll put some food color in so you can see it better. Okay. Is it water cold? No, this is. Oh, no, it's smart blood. Oh, it's smart blood. Oh, I know it's here. I don't. Bottle flip challenge, two kids. I don't get it. Oh, I know it's here. Oh, I know it's here. Please don't wait. I know it's here. Wait, what are you doing here, me? Oh, you're going to go in a circle. Flip it around. Whoa! Oh, my God. Yeah, flip the challenge. So centripetal force. The re so guys, the reason it stays in, and I'll explain this to you, is centripetal force. 
So it's a force directed towards the inside of a circle. So that allows things to go in a circle. If you're driving on a curved road, centripetal force is what keeping you in. You're not suddenly flying off. So the reason why that this whole apparatus didn't fly off is because of the force pulling it in towards me. That's cool. So a man swinging yo-yo or me swinging the, this apparatus around my head, the force that is not allowing it to escape is called centripetal force. If the string were to break, anybody have a guess? Raise your hands. Have a guess of to what direction the yo-yo or the apparatus would go? Uh, really? Kind of like so like a straight line, curve line. Oh, curve. Curve line. Keep going straight, go on that curve. Go, if go on. It's going to be a cat. 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 All right. Uh, you guys in that corner, come over here, please. Oh, yay. Just so you guys can see. Just so you guys can see. Park ride called the Scrambler. Yeah. Okay. You get pushed to the outside. So centripetal force is what is keeping you, is what's pulling in. But what you feel is what's called, it's a fictitious force, not a real force, it's a perceived force. It's called centrifugal with an F 
force, and that's that force you feel being pushed out because the car or the ride is being pulled in. So you feel like you're being pushed out, but you're not. Your body just wants to go straight, but because it's turning, it's spinning, and that force is pulling you in, you feel that oh. force pushing on you, equal and opposite. So there's a force pulling in, you oh, feel a force pushing you out. Oh, but it's not an actual force, it's a felt force. Just like that. So why doesn't, if I swung a bucket around my head, or with this, why doesn't the water come out? So centripetal force is what? Pulling in what direction as I spin it? Pulling in. Okay. So it's pulling in. But Newton's third law says the equal optimum force, and that's the centripetal with an F force. So that's that felt force pushing out. Down here, what's pulling down on the water to hold it in the cup? Gravity. Gravity. Okay. When it's out that direction, well, it wants to go in that direction because I have it moving that direction, so the water wants to move that way. But what is pulling it back this way? Centripetal force, the force of the string. When it's up top, it wants to, the water wants to go up towards the ceiling because if I had let go, the water would just go up. But what's pulling it back down? Gravity. Gravity, gravity and the centripetal, tripetal for the P, force. So it won't come out of the bucket because of inertia. The inertia is going up. Yeah. I spell it. 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 I Inertia. 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 Inertia.